going back to the chat. Rona, can you pass odd using just Ninja? Absolutely. People pass any, any section of the exam using just Ninja. Most people have it as a supplement because they already have a course, but plenty of people use it just Ninja. You just, um, well, on my website, I have how to study with just Ninja, but essentially uh, the Ninja book and the Ninja sparring is what encompasses your nail the concepts. So. Albert, hi, I just passed FAR in my 18 month window, this is in the chat, just began. Why is it that sometimes the release dates are sometimes far apart and sometimes close? For example, next month, next month's last day is September 7th and the release date is September 15th. But if I take it on September 8th, I must wait till October 12th. So I'm very nervous, don't wanna take the exam on let's say September 10th and then wait till October 12th. What do I, what do, I do? It's like a month gap. Okay, so I'm gonna answer that question first. All right, month. Uh, that's just how the score release windows work. Um, I've never tried to understand them. I just, that's just how they are. If it makes you feel any better, <clears throat> just know that when we used to have, uh, we used to have wave one and wave two, and no one knew <clears throat> if you were in wave one or wave two. So score release night would come along and it would come and go and, you didn't have your score. Okay, you're wave two. So you have to wait another month or three weeks. It was awful. And uh, so things are much better than they used to be. And we used to have the dead month and y'all have continuous testing now. And back in my day, we used to, used to have to walk, up, walk uphill both ways in the snow on score release night, et cetera. So um, I would just, you know what? I wouldn't try to time your exam around score release, but all else being equal, take that into consideration. It's just, but it's a, it's like a tertiary factor. It's my one time a month I, use, I get to use that word. And following up on that question, how should I approach the 18 month window for the next three exams? I'm studying full time. Um, and so studying full time. All right, 18 month window. So the long and short of it is you just, Take your exam and pass it and keep going. How you don't do it is what I did. And, um, and that's, I passed far. I felt like I had passed the entire exam. So I just took a month off. Oh no, sorry, not a month. That'd be fine. I took a year off and then ended up against the 18 month window and I actually lost my far credit. So don't do that. It's not fun. If you're going to lose an exam section, far is not the one that you want to lose. And so, but that's how you do that. <clears throat> 